Before the Archdiocese statement, dozens of Five on Your Side viewers reached out to the Five on Your Side Verify team, asking if it's true that Johnson & Johnson's vaccine contained aborted fetal cell lines. Let's verify it. Is it true aborted fetal cell lines were used to create the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine? Our sources? Two experts from Johns Hopkins University, Dr. Amish Adalja, School of Public Health, and Dr. Bill Moss, Executive Director of the International Vaccine Access Center, plus Dr. Alex Lacasse, an infectious disease physician. The involvement of fetal cells starts with a quick history lesson. Fetal cells were taken from two aborted fetuses in 1973 and 1985. A researcher in the Netherlands obtained these cells and were unsure of the circumstances surrounding the abortions. Since then, those original cells have multiplied millions of times, creating what are called fetal cell lines. Although their origin was in, um, you know, an aborted fetus, um, they're, they're really just this independent cell line that's been grown in laboratory for decades. Scientists like to use fetal cell lines because they're still in development and will replicate rapidly outside the human body. This allows scientists to use the cells to rapidly grow virus. And Johnson & Johnson needed to grow a lot of virus to make its vaccine. The vaccine uses what's called an adenovirus, a benign common cold virus to enter your cell. The genetically engineered adenovirus contains genetic instructions for your body to make the signature spike protein on SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. Your body then sees that spike protein and makes antibodies. So if you do get infected with the real COVID-19, your body will be ready to fight it. So are the fetal cell lines used to grow the adenovirus in the vaccine vial that goes into your arm? The experts say they are rigorously filtered out. Once the virus particles are made from those cells, there are processes of filtration to try and purify what's going to be in the vial. So it's unlikely that there are going to be any uh, cell remnants that, that pass through that filtering process, that purification process. So we can verify this is true. Aborted fetal cell lines were used to manufacture and develop the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine. Dr. Lacasse says fetal cell lines were also used to make the hepatitis A, rubella, chickenpox, and shingles vaccine. To read more of the Vatican and the Archdiocese of St. Louis' statement on COVID vaccines, plus watch my report on the use of fetal cell lines in the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines, you can look for this story on our app under the As Seen on TV section. And if you have something you want verified, let me know through Facebook, Twitter, or by email, verify at ksdk.com.